Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Now in this video we are here with the another one hour build challenges. Now these build challenges are a lot of fun and I pretty much set myself a one hour challenge to build a really cool creation and try and get it working as best as possible. Uh, it is quite stressful uh, so hopefully you guys do enjoy these and I haven't done one in quite a while. So today we're going to be building a biplane. Uh, it'll be a great time considering we've got weapons DLC coming along so it'll be pretty cool to have a nice little plane to play with. Uh, we're going to use modular engines and I'm going to try and make it look as best as possible. I'm also going to be incorporating the mouse uh, actual staring into it and mouse looking into controlling the plane kind of like War Thunder style of uh, how you fly the plane so I think we're quite fun so if you're interested follow along uh, it's going to be completely unedited and we'll see how we get on so we're in the workbench and we're going to get started in three two one and one hour so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of get my dimensions right so I want to get symmetry mode on and I'm going to extend my build area probably about that much for now uh, let's go and get a seat in so we'll start with one seat we might add another one later on possibly uh, I'm not too sure let's let's go with let's go with one for now uh, along with that we're probably going to be building up a bit uh, and then we're going to get our engine room probably somewhere around here so I'm going to use modular engines as I said earlier so let's start with some cylinder heads and we'll probably do like a four cylinder engine maybe an eight yeah, let's go with an eight cylinder engine. So we'll start with that. Actually, let's maybe get some space here for some fuel. So let's get a tank in first. I think one medium sized tank will be all right. So we'll get a fuel tank just over here. Maybe actually point it the other direction. There we go. So medium sized fuel tank and then let's get the cylinders. So there we go. And we'll place that. Let's do Oh, here should be fine. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to get our crankshaft. So we'll get four of those once again, and just make sure we place them the right way. Oops, so they should all be facing that direction. They are, which is great, except this one. Uh, and we're going to get these on top again, just like this. Okay, so we've now got our engine over here. We can, of course, get this all connected and hopefully all running. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is get our clutch. So let's get a clutch on that get a gearbox and get two of those and let's start with one for now and let's get a propeller we could also even want if we want to we could maybe add some generators on just in case it's up to you on how many you want i mean we could just get away with probably adding one on this build considering there's not going to be that much electric on here we could even add just an alternator uh, on there so i'm probably going to do that instead Next thing we're going to need is propeller, so let's go with a propeller and a light. Stick that on over there. We can change the size of it depending on how we want. I'm going to go with a two blade build and that should be all right, I think. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. The next thing we need is a drive belt. So that's going to allow us to start the engine up. We can get a starter motor, put that on to underneath the creation. Now, this is not meant to be a guide on how to build, but of course, if you are following along, everything should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we can get an alternator on that will allow us to get a little bit of electricity back. Now, I'm just thinking we've got that fuel tank there that's facing facing that direction. It's kind of blocked. So what I'll probably do is end up just grabbing it and rotating it around like that so we can get it through. Uh, and then we can add, for example, we can add a fuel intake possibly like just over here. That way we'll, we'll bring some pipes uh, through here and into there. Okay, so very straightforward. Uh, we can also add our air if we want to. I'm going to turn symmetry mode off and delete that. So we can add our air intake. And we can once again put that wherever we want to, wherever we find space. You know, we could even do something like this and do a filter facing down. We could do something facing forwards. Uh, let's just go maybe with something here right now. So there we go. Cool. So we've got air, we've got our fuel, we will also need some exhaust. So let's go and do exhaust. Now, how we're going to do exhaust, once again, kind of depends on how you want it to look. At the moment, I'm not 100% sure on where I want my exhaust to be. So I'm probably going to just leave it off for right now and we'll come back to it at a later point. Okay, I'm just going to delete a little bit of this underneath here. Cool. So we've got a relatively okay design so far. We still need that alternator, which I think I took off. 
So I'll add that on. We could add two if we wanted to. So we could add one there. One there. Okay, so that should give us more than enough power. Battery. Now, where you want to add your battery is completely up to you. I'm just going to stick it over there for right now. The next thing I want to start working on is just the general shape of the actual plane. So we're just going to start building up some of this area. Uh, at the moment, we're going to make it look like a block, <laughs> very square. And then once we build that on, then we can start actually designing on how we want it to look. So for example, I know I want to probably come back like this. Oh, that looks pretty good there. We might even bring this forwards a bit. Like so, make sure I get symmetry mode back on for now. We can maybe do some wedges here in the front. Possibly maybe something here too. So we could probably do uh, something like that. We could even do something that goes a little bit longer. You know, we could go like that and then maybe get the one by two inverse. Something like that. Uh, we could even do it over there and then bring it like all the way up like this. If we want to do but that is quite a sharp design and i'm not going for that sharper design i'm going for quite a boxy design today uh cool so let's go and add that in there something like that and we can grow up some as i said we're not finished with this we'll come back to most of this stuff later uh, and make it look a little better cool so we've got that done uh now i ideally don't want to go i ideally don't want to go more than three blocks wide but we might have to just cover the seat. Uh, there's not really any blocks that work well. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back here and let's start maybe bring it into a one by four wedge. Something like that. And then over here we can just bring more blocks like so. And over here maybe grab another one by four and stick it over here. Now we want to try and keep our weight in the center of the creation where the wings are going to be. Do something like that. I'm not 100% yet on if I want to do that. And that's pretty much how building is, is you, there's a lot of, you know, going back and forth with your designs until you get something that you like. So we're going to try and plop this in here. Like so, uh, this eventually is going to go back over here to I might space it a little bit more. But you get the idea of what we're going for so far. And I think it, it will look okay. The next thing I would like to do actually is I'll bring this here. I wonder to see if I can maybe try and get some type of cool design for this piece. So what if we were to do something like that and then get, let's see, the one by four permits. Now this might be a little bit too much something like that I guess could work get rid of that there two and then that's gonna go into there cool that does look a little bit a little bit too much so we might drop that down by one uh, but we'll see how we get on I think cool the next thing I want to do is add the wings on so we're going to do let's do a wing starting probably about there and we're going to bring it all the way out and then we're going to do the same thing above so let's just go up here probably about there let's just have a look at the height on that i guess yeah i guess the height's okay get rid of that put that there and we're going to do once again five blocks now go something like that and just delete the extra ones that we don't want something like that so now looking at that i probably want this to be a little bit more aggressive here in the front so i'm probably going to end up just doing this and bringing it up by one and the same thing goes here I'm probably going to bring us back by one and we're going to go something like that. So a little more aggressive. So I've got four blocks here. We want to go four blocks. I'm going to get rid of these ones. Okay. Something like that. That looks all right. Well, now we can always go back if we want to. If we want to replace this with proper wings, we could do that also. If it's looking a little bit too thin, we could replace it also. We can make a lot of changes as we want to really. Uh, we could even bring this one up i think this is looking a little bit too low from where we are right now and just remember we will add some control surfaces or some rudders and things on the ends of the wings for yawing and stuff 
The same thing goes with the with the length of the wings. You know, we're not saying the the length is like this. We might actually bring it back to about there. I think that's a little bit more realistic in terms of the length that we should be going for. All right, cool. Let's do this back area. So we're probably going to go. I guess we could do something like that, and then maybe could even just do up again. And something like that and grab maybe the one by twos over here yeah sure why not cool and we're going to now go and get some more pieces so we're going to go and add the tail we're going to do something very basic for now and we can add some control surfaces on that I mean over here we could even go into a one by two permit something like that try and bring spring it back here there we go and we could add control surface or rudder on there so rudder done done uh let's go with negative facing up for now well if we need to change it we can change it later on and there we go too cool so we've now got everything we need at the back there we can add stuff for our actual rolling so rolling will be here and here just remember if you're building it uh you might need to invert one of them for rolling but we'll get to that part later on cool so we've got everything else what about exhaust so remember i said i wanted to add the exhaust on now where we add it is completely up to us i'm thinking here so if we were to maybe grab our exhaust and where it is there we go so we have to do exhaust like that and then we can go into corner piece and then grab some exhaust pieces where are the upper exhaust pipe there we go and we could add that on on either side once again it's completely up to you one thing i have missed on the engine so far is the cooling so we might want to get that in i'm probably going to go underneath here and see if i can try and find a little area to add this cooling in so to do that actually i think i've got an idea so we'll grab a radiator we don't have to use one of these we could just use one of the normal ones completely up to you and we're going to rotate it like this which then gives us access to if i delete this quickly gives us access to all of this over here and if i just go back because i think i've deleted yes i did go back here and now we can add cooling just over there rotate it around and then we could add some pipes here like this now we can replace these pipes later on with like enclosed pipes if we wanted to make it look look a little bit better and we can go and add our exhaust back done cool so that means that engine is now complete we've got exhaust we have cooling we've got air we've got pretty much everything that we need for that engine and it might not look the best engine but uh, i mean it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad at all cool so we've got all that on what else do we want i mean what if we were to maybe do something like this how would that look We could do something like that and maybe even grab this and rotate that around. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I think that'll be fine. Cool. It's quite a nice low profile to this. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our landing gear. So our landing gear we probably want somewhere around here. So I'm just going to go and put that on. One, two, three. Yeah, that looks about fine. Maybe four. Let's go and grab a wheel. We're just going to use the small wheels today. I don't care about the orientation of them. And I want to go one higher. Because obviously I'm not doing any steering with them. So I don't really mind. Cool. We can go and connect those up there. And if we really wanted to, we could get some XML modded pipes here to make it look a little better. Uh, for now, let's go and just grab that. Put that there. Put that there. Go there. Delete that. And we could do something like that for now as i said if we have more time we might replace that with some xml stuff uh at the back here we can find a nice little spot to put the tail piece i mean we could possibly go with something like with that and just put a little coaster here at the back like so i mean that should work let's go and have a look yeah that could work perfectly fine actually that doesn't look too bad so far. Uh, next thing I want to do is let's go and get our little 
windows for our cockpit so maybe let's start building our cockpit up so for the cockpit as i said earlier on i didn't know if i wanted to close this in with some wedges and things but i mean we could possibly do something like that i don't know how it's going to look we could even close the engine off let's see so because the exhaust is there it's not really too happy with me i mean we could move the exhaust but we could do something like that which extends it just a little bit and then just bring it like that you could even bring it back one more and do something like that that way we just get access to this area and we could even do something like that something like that it's it's completely up to us on how we want to deal with this i mean that doesn't look too bad uh we can delete some of this stuff and instead of having that we're going to add i don't want to delete it uh, we're going to add let's do maybe a artificial horizon yeah why not let's get an artificial horizon in here make it look pretty decent cool uh what else do we need maybe a dial for speed as i said if we have a little more time we might come back and replace some of these things with like composite panels or things like that it's We'll see how we get on. We could even replace it with a screen. That could be an option. Display, sorry. Let's do a display. I do need to find a space to put in a throttle lever because I will be using my controller. So we want to have a little spot here for a throttle lever. So I might just add it in over here. So throttle. And let's just stick it in just over there. We can also add some more flip switches and maybe a key switch or something like that. We could even use this little floor area over here, maybe for brakes. I mean, that, that could be a good idea. So let's do toggle. And we're just going to add that in there. Grab that and let's say that's our brakes. And we're going to default it on and it's going to go to all of our brakes. Cool. We will need space for a gyro. So, I mean, we don't have to add a gyro on, but I like to. And there's plenty of space inside here. So I'm going to try and make use of whatever space there is delete all this stuff and there we go we've got a jar in nice and easy very straightforward so we got that we got that we got that on uh i might want to add some more control surfaces so use some of the small ones how big would that be i mean we could add maybe a few here we want to add some just to keep the plane quite level when it's flying because these are these control surfaces that we have already are specifically just for going bring it back by one these ones here are specifically just for rolling at the moment so we want to add just some things to keep the plane ever so slightly level so i mean we could do something like that and then over here we could add a little bit of design to it like that yeah it looks pretty cool and the same thing goes over there maybe a one by four could be better over here and we can do the same thing we can add some more of these control surfaces underneath here not deleting that and let's do there and there let's go and flip this around doesn't matter which way they're facing at the moment if we need to adjust them we can get all this off uh cool so i mean we're short on one space here but we just replace this with like a one by four block really wants to or even just one and then a one by two something like that all right cool refueling if we really want to refuel uh, currently we don't have any option to refuel this plane so i mean we could delete this block over here and go down to like a one by two here could even do one by two on both sides like that and then do the refueling over there. Really, really we're desperate for refueling. Yeah, let's do it. So we'll add a T piece. We're going to have to move that exhaust though, because that exhaust is currently in the way. Fueling, I don't want to move it. And the exhaust. I mean the exhaust could do we could do something. Let's move it out the way. What if we were to let's see? We could do exhaust coming out there instead so exhaust coming out there then going into that close this place off here and then for refueling actually yeah I'm not 100 convinced that i want refueling at the moment i 
don't really mind if we don't have refueling on this plane. We could also shunt this back a little bit, extend this a little bit more forwards. Uh, that would give us a little bit more blocks here. But as I said, it's, I'm not really too bothered about refueling right now. Cool. So we've got our exhaust back in. I'm actually really happy with the design so far and how we're getting on. I mean, if we want to even extend this one lower here at the bottom, we could make it a little bit more lower. But I mean, that's not bad. Cool. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is let's use some rope anchors. Hmm. Maybe some XML modded stuff here. I think I've got some I can possibly use from some of my other creations. So I think some of my helicopters have got some nice pipes. Also, there's a pipe pack that you can download and use, which I kind of recommend you guys could use. Oh, the windows. That's the next thing I wanted to add in. So what if we were to just do that? And... Can I move this forwards one? Yes. Okay, we're going to go with that. And we're going to grab... I want a one by this one. I want one of these. And let's add that in there. And then over here, we're going to add a window. So let's go and use all some of these. Yeah, and then we're going to grab a one by one angled that one cool there we go nice and straightforward uh, the next thing we're going to need is my modular engine controller which is the set rps one so let's go and stick that in somewhere where we won't see it i mean we could stick it in right over here because you you won't really see it so let's just do over there if we have more time we could possibly move that later on but uh, i'm pretty Pretty happy so far on how this is starting to look. I think it's looking okay. We just need to connect the wings is the next thing. We can also add some lights on. So should we go with RGB? Maybe. I don't know if I have a controller. So nav lights. Let's see if I have something. Mark 6 nav light display. No RGB nav lights. I don't know if... That's cycling ones, ship ones, B navs, double blink nav light controller. This is someone else's. So let's just go with regular lights for now and we'll play with them later. So we'll add some lights on maybe here. We can also add maybe one on the tail and maybe one underneath over here. So a bunch of wings, a bunch of lights. Cool, let's do some painting. So we're going to go with a nice bright red, I think. Yeah, let's do a nice bright red. That's maybe a little bit too bright. That looks all right, I think. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, we're gonna paint a whole bunch of things. So let's go, we start with some silver over here. Maybe the these we can go silver. Maybe we can do this in silver. Cool. Maybe this in silver too. Possibly even this. Uh, no, let's stick with red for now. Uh, we can add some white, maybe. Why not? There's nothing wrong with adding some white on. Uh, we can also add some black or some dark gray. Paint the exhaust. What else can we paint? I mean, everything else is pretty straightforward, isn't it? So, could we delete that? Or we could delete that actually. Let's just bring it back for now. Uh, what else could we get rid of? I mean, we can change the seat color and we can also change, I guess, the interior color over here. So we could go to like a nice dark gray inside here. Paint all this up. We'll paint the seat in a few minutes. Get this painted. I don't know. Let's maybe delete that and replace it with something like that. Bring this back to red. Bring this back to a dark gray. Dark gray, dark gray, paint all this, dark gray, dark gray. We could use a paint block here to change the color. Uh, maybe a white, that, and what else could we do? I mean, we could do some white stripes on the wings. So we could do something like that. Yeah, sure, why not? 
when you're painting something like this obviously you have the control surfaces when you touch it it paints the whole thing so just be aware of that uh, and that's why I've kind of based my design here on how I'm painting it like that uh, so that it paints the whole control surface at the same time all right cool let's go and maybe paint a nice stripe here at the back maybe something like that cool I mean, if we had more time for detailing, we could play around with that a little bit more, but not to, to bother with it right now. All right, cool. Let's go and spawn that in. I want to see how that looks. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. As I said, we need the struts for the wings, and we can do that next. And then we can move on to logic. So let me grab some XML pieces, and then we'll add those on and see if that's going to work or not. Don't know if it would, but uh, I mean, as I said, I've got some ones hanging around that we can possibly go and use. Cool. So let me go and save this and then we go and find a piece and I'll meet you guys right back. Alrighty. So we're back. I grabbed a piece of pipe from my riverboat that I thought would probably work. So let's see if this would work. So, I mean, yeah, it sticks out a little bit at the bottom, but I'm pretty happy with that. It also doesn't line up exactly, but we can move the top one a little bit back. So let's plop one there. Let's plop another one over there. As I said, we'll move the top piece back and let's do the same on the other side. So all the way here, done and done. And to connect them, it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is just build up like that until you can't build any higher. So you see there, I can't build higher and I can't build higher. Then just go underneath it doop, and connect them up. It's pretty easy. Before you delete those, actually, just go to the other side and just connect the other side. Done. Cool, so we've got that done. Uh, I'm gonna move this top piece back a little bit and let's just go over here. I might actually also change this red. I'm not really happy with the red. I wanna add a little bit more grayish into the red. So let's just go back by one, two. I mean, no, let's go there, should be fine. Uh, make sure you remember to connect it up. There we go. And just connect those two pieces up. There we go. Cool. That's done. Uh, what else did I want to change the red color? So this is the color we had before. I'm actually more looking for this kind of red. So let's go and replace our red. Yeah, that's a little bit better red, I think. Yeah, I'm happy with that red. Uh, cool. The next thing I wanted to do is turn temperature mode off. I want to paint my lights. So we're going with red and we're going to go with green on the side. Done. So that means we've got those on. We've got our lights underneath, which is going to be a white light. And the back one is a white light, I think. I remember there's a red one. I didn't, I think, isn't it underneath it's meant to be red or white? I can't remember. Someone will probably say something in chat. So guys, just check chat or check it in the comments section of this video. Cool. So we've got all that done. Um, I'm pretty happy. I think it's about time that we start doing the logic for this build. I think we've got almost all the components that we need. So I don't think there's any point in delaying it anymore. And we can go straight into the logic part. I'm just going to paint the seats to a nice brown color. Cool. Do one a quick spawning. I mean, not bad. We could even lower it. One just to make it look a little bit more better underneath, but it doesn't look bad. I'm also considering bringing this down a little bit. Cool. Okay, logic, logic, logic. Some of you guys have been waiting for. Okay, so for electricity, we can grab actually, let's go and can we add a relay in? We should have enough space to add a relay in somewhere. That way when we turn the plane on, it turns the electronics on. Cool. So we're going to go from battery, which we have two of them over here. One, two. And we're going to go there. And then from there, we're going to go into all the things that we need. Pretty much everything that we want. We're just going to go straight in. I'm holding control down, by the way. And this is how it allows me to select multiple things at the same time. So we're going to add that in. We can possibly even add, we need to add my display screen. So let me just do that now. So I think let's do selection grid, close that off, 
it's load and I think it's the one by one data screens they're called I can't remember what I've called them info yes info screens cool let's grab that we just need the logic off it and there we go so we've got those we'll need two of them so let's see if we can fit in here so we should be able to there's one and there's two okay cool so we've got that in all we need to do now is double check our electricity which is good that's happy happy with that our composite is going from our engine over there we also have our info there we go so let's do that one goes there that one goes there we'll need that video is going to go there and there we don't have any audio we don't have any rope so i'm not worried about that uh what are we going to stick into this so these can take four values each what about speed let's go and put speed in somewhere so we'll add a speed sensor on our creation we could even do it over here so these don't have any physics blocks in the front so you can actually do something like that uh, we can also add altitude what about a map actually actually i think i'm going to replace that one info screen with a map instead i think i have a one by one map somewhere let's go into here again and let's go and find it so it's a one by one map no let's find the map there gps map with arrow gps with compass heading that's the one i want and let's go and place that in place it in grab the controller again and then find some space inside the plane, which is just here at the back. Cool. Composites going there. Video is going to go from there into there. Cool. So we're going to need a GPS block so we can add that somewhere on our creation. We're going to go back to our nice red color and maybe let's add it just up there. We could add it underneath, actually. Add it here at the back, wherever you find spot there let's add it to the back we've got altitude already we've got speed already we're going to put directional speed on that's fine uh what else do we need we need a compass so compass sensor and we can place that maybe somewhere inside the creation it doesn't really matter just make sure when you do place it it's got the arrow facing forwards uh where is space for it here no maybe here yes it's got the arrow facing forwards like that so that's very important uh we can carry on doing logic so we're going to go compass into compass we need gps y which is there gps x which is there got all that uh, how are we going to turn our power on we're going to use one and one is also going to turn our modular engine on cool radiator fan we don't have electrical engine we don't have Modular engine clutch we do have. We have air throttle, which should be over here somewhere. So that's fuel, air, great. We do also, one thing I have forgotten to do is to connect the engines up together. That is what will be very important for me to go and do before I forget. So let's go and find a spot to do that. I mean, we could, so we could just go and connect them now we need to find a decent ish area to go and connect these up now the reason we're doing it so they can share the fuel and air between all the manifolds and things which is very important now we could actually let's have a quick look and see if we can get rid of something to make the connection quite easy and i'm thinking to get rid of this battery that we had here which is perfectly fine let's go and grab a manifold i mean one battery should be more than enough to manage this so let's go and do that and we'll just get a straight piece over here cool we could have built this engine a little bit better uh looking but i mean it's okay cool so we've got the manifold done we've got all that done uh let's go and carry on so next thing we've got is our fuel throttle so that is over there we've got our throttle which is going to be from our throttle on the side which i actually deleted off by accident so let me just put that back so we're going to put it over here and I guess we could go and bring this over here. Let's try and build this up maybe. Use that. So let's do that. And then we're going to go and add our throttle over here. 
Cool. And that's actually going to be for the RPS of the engine, which is fine. So that's engine RPS sensitivity 50% maximum. Let's just start five. Let's just start eight max value. Let's do 30. Why not? Minimum one sure or zero. Cool. And that's going to go up to our throttle, which is this one RPS from the engine. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And starter motor, we need to connect up. Did I delete the start motor? I did. I left uh, three alternators, which we need to get rid of. One of those at least. And let's put my starter motor back. Cool. And we can get that connected over there. So we're doing fine on time. We've got about 23 minutes left. So I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to go with a positive blade pitch so I never have to worry about that my throttle of my engine will control if I go forwards or backwards so that's good uh, my let's do so this on so our seat is going to be allowing us to turn it on off two let's use gyro off three what could we use three four we've already got brakes underneath so I'm not really worried about that Okay, so next thing is, let me just fix the painting inside here. Done, and maybe along here too. Cool. Happy with that, happy with that. What about our screens? Our screens also need to turn on, so let's turn all that on when we turn our vehicle on, why not? Uh, two we said was for our gyro, so that's gonna go to the gyro. Our lights, at the moment, we can just leave them all on. on. I mean, we could add a blinker on the underneath one so let's add a blinker so it's a simple blinker cool and add that in there's actually a mic controller i think there for it which is a double blink but uh for a basic build like this i'm not stressing too much about accuracy uh, and i guess we could just go to here we could even face it this way that way you don't see it so if you do that and then Grab a blinker like that and then go inside and place it like that. That way you actually don't see it and you can just paint this and it's gone. It's done. Uh, cool. Then we're going to go one into there and that's going to go to this little light underneath there. And we're going to blink. Let's do blink on for 0.5 and blink off for 1.5. Sure. Great. So that is done. Uh, we've got the lights done we've got that on engine is all set up and ready to go gearbox let's start it on a i don't know five by two we might need to change that later on all this is good let me just double check my electricity yes that's good i need to connect that over there that is connected anything else missing and that's a great way of when you can can add everything just to one node you can actually hover over here like this and you can see, oh, well, actually, I haven't connected my throttle lever, for example. I haven't connected, what else is there? That's the battery, which I don't mind. I haven't connected my compass sensor, for example. I haven't connected my GPS block. So that's why I like doing it like that. Obviously, if you're going a little bit more detailed, a little bit more authentic, then maybe a backup battery. And then, you know, it once again, it's up to you on how you want to do this. Uh, cool. What else do we need? So clutch pressure, we always want a one on our clutch so we're gonna go over here from our battery the battery should always be probably nearly one so that's fine what else do we need we need to connect obviously our ailerons and things uh let's do our data info screen so one will be speed two will be altitude three i guess we could do rps and four we could do not too sure actually <laughs> what we should do four with Let's just go in here and name it. So one is going to be speed. Two is going to be alt. Three is going to be RPS. Four, I don't know what we're going to do with at the moment. Uh, what else do we have that we need to connect? That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Cool. Let's do our gyro then. So we've got controls coming in. Now to start with, I'm going to use my keyboard, my W and S, A and D to check the controls. And then we're going to switch it over to the look X and look Y. We're going to start with WNS just to diagnose it. So WNS will pitch. We're going to do A and D for our roll. Left and right for our yaw. 
and then we also want a threshold gates find threshold and we're going to use the threshold gate here just to measure the, the up and down and the up and down will be like a shortcut to change the throttle okay so we actually going to need two of those so if i can find another place to put one more i should be able to put one more in here one there one there yes so one there and one there so you're going to say hey listen you know what if the engine if you're up and down here from your engine is going there and it goes to one to one then we're going to go up on our throttle and then if our same up and down goes in here and it's a negative one negative one then you're going to go and turn the throttle down and just remember when you're doing that go onto here go to the up and down and make sure it's on a hundred percent okay it's on a hundred percent and it's also on reset that is very important if you're doing it okay Otherwise, it's going to take forever for you to get to one and forever for you to get to negative one. Just remember that. Uh, great. So we've got all that on. Got that trigger. We don't need a trigger. When we have guns, I would like to add the guns here. So maybe like one gun. So you can imagine we would have a gun here and a gun here. And that's how you would firing it. Or we could even put it inside here maybe. But we'll have to wait and see when we get the weapons. What about if we're lowering that on? Maybe, actually, I would like to lower that. And let's bring it down like that. Cool. So we've got that on. I mean, we could even get rid of this if we really wanted to. And go down to something like that. Sure. Great. So we've got that done. We've got that done. We could drop the seat down one lower. That could also be another thing. That's done. Is there anything else? I don't. Th I'm kind of don't think there is anything else. We do need to get obviously this connected up. So we might yes, do that now. So your is going to go over to your over there. We're going to do up down no. Roll is going to go into there and there, and then we're going to have to invert these guys here. That's fine. So let's just go grab this one, cut it, rotate it paste it grab this one cut it rotate it paste it we might need to switch those around but that's fine cool so we've got that on that is the roll taken care of the last thing we need is the pitch and the pitch is going to go over here cool pretty much done let's go and test it not looking too bad not looking too bad at all Great, let's go and jump inside here. We're gonna throttle is up. Great, we can should be able to just one. So engine's not turning on. As you can hear, nothing's happening with that engine, so that's a concern, of course. So let's go and find out why. Starter motor connected over to the radiator fans. <laughs> so that is a that's why it wasn't turning on. That's good. Uh let's go and test it now. So we jump back in the seat. Cool. What about up and down? that work yeah that works very well okay brakes are still on we're good speed is here we've got our map and directions alt rps heading that looks all good up down okay so that needs to be inverted uh what about roll okay we'll have to test roll later on uh left and right left and right does work okay so we need to get our pitch the other way around so to do that we just come over here grab this go across and we're literally just going to go and cut rotate paste done that way we don't have to use any function blocks and things like that we could even lower this by one to be honest but now it's okay cool let's actually try and do a flight i think gyro off is actually gyro on that's another thing by the way Let's just turn it on for now. Let's turn our brakes off. Why are we leaning a bit there? Full throttle. Okay, so my pitch is the wrong way around. Yep, pitch is the completely wrong way around. So let's go and put that in. I don't know why I pitched it the wrong way. Oh, let's cut it. 
go and see what's going on here with this pitch. Paste it in again, throw it in there. Let's go and test it again. Let's go engine on, throttle up, brakes off. Yes, that's better. Throttle up. Should be taking off in a few seconds. There we go. Get my gyro on. Very nice. Pretty good my engine throttle down a bit. Roll is working. That's fine. What about my yaw? Yaw is working perfectly fine. Let me get gyro off. Pretty happy with that. It's flying almost dead on smack on. Very nice. Pretty happy with that. We could add temperature maybe could be another thing that we could add on here. Although we could just hover over here and see our temperature. So that's probably, we don't even need that. Um, not bad. Okay, let's bring this in and let's see what improvements that we could quickly make to this. I don't know how much time we have left. Uh, we've got 13 minutes left on the timer, so we can go and make a few improvements. We've got to actually add some more struts also. Uh, now, another cool thing of adding the up-down throttle is that when you come in for landing, like now, we can use our up-down throttle to go and land properly. So you can see how I've already reduced the throttle. I'm going to get my gyro on for this. Reduce throttle. Nose up. Reduce throttle. A little more throttle. Okay, that was a little bit of a hard landing. But, uh... Yeah, not bad. Okay, let's go and bring this back. Uh, so next couple of things I wanted to do was add some more struts on. So let's grab this, grab that. And if you're a little bit lazy, you could go down and do that too. So we could copy it. And let's do some more, I guess there because of, actually, let's go and copy that again. But instead, we're just not going to copy the button anymore. And copy it. And let's do what over here. Sure. So we're leaving four blocks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool. Uh, let's go and just connect those up quickly. There and there. Done. Done. Delete, delete. Uh, if we really want to be cool about this, we can grab some rope anchors. And you could add, let's just change our color to the red. I can add one there and one there. And underneath two, so maybe one there, one, where's the other one there? Cool. Done, done. And then we'll connect those up with some ropes and I think it'll be looking pretty cool. Uh, we could even add here too. So you could go like that and connect those up to like, oh, I guess we can go to the same piece. So we'll grab the ropes. We go there and there, and then this one there, and this one there, and this one there, and this one there. I mean, we could even add one, I think I just deleted something. Shouldn't have deleted. Uh, we could do something like there, but I don't really want something. We could add something there too. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We spawned that in. See how that's gonna look. Nice. Not too bad. Okay, what else did we want to do? We wanted to add, temperature was fine, everything else was fine. Okay, we need to do the actual flight controls for mouse movement. So we're going to, once again, as I said, we're going to use the mouse to control everything. So we're going to grab two function blocks and we're going to find somewhere to put those. So possibly like here, out the way where you won't see them that much. We're going to go into each one and we're going to do x times 4 and x times 4. Just because when you have the look out here, that actually goes and gives you a 0.25 output. So we want to times it by 4 to get a 0 to 1 range or negative 1 to 1 range. So we're going to go x into here and then x is going to be for our left and right. So that's going to go into our yaw, which is over there. The next thing we're going to do is the Y, which is going to be for up and down or pitch. We're going to go from there into our pitch. There we go. 
That means now that we don't have our WNS and our left and right. Now we could replace our WNS and our up and down here. So that way we can use our WNS on our keyboard to control our throttle and our A and D control our roll. And then our mouse movement is controlling our yaw and also controlling our pitch. Okay, cool. So that should work. We're just gonna obviously have to go and test it. Let's go and jump in here. Go jump in here, and you can see as I'm moving my mouse, should be moving everything else. We'll get some power on first. Cool. So you can see already how as I move, can you see how the ailerons and things are moving? What about left and right? Yeah, that works perfectly fine. As you can see, up and down. Uh, I think up and down needs to be inverted, so let's just go and do that. And a quick way of inverting the up and down is find which one it is on the left, click on it and do negative X. Okay, done. Jump in again, let's get it on. Oh, you know what we could add as the fourth data is our fuel. <laughs> That's quite useful, isn't it? So fuel. And we'll connect that up to our thing there. I mean, we could also probably get some more gearbox on. See how that works. That's enough power on. Gyro on. Roll up. We need to make sure we do W and S as reset and also 100% sensitivity then we should be fine jump inside again one cool we should wns yep wns does work gyro on aim up aim up come on there we go so i'm now in third person here and you can see as i'm moving my mouse Probably want to lower my throttle a little bit. And there we go. Now, obviously, you can use your A and D to roll. Now, we can our gyro off. How sensitive is my roll? My roll is not that sensitive. So, if I want to get a little bit more roll, we could add some more ailerons on there if we wanted to. Let's get a little more throttle lift. Nice. So, now I'm literally flying right now. I'm only flying using my mouse and we can use obviously A and D to go and roll the plane if we wanted to. So yeah, not bad I don't think. What is our fuel and things? Now the only issue is when you have controls like this, you can't actually look down because I can't go and see what things are, what, what's happening at all. I have no, op no options here of looking down. So that is the one issue. As I said, um, before is I think I said earlier in the week with one of the top fives is I would like an option maybe for and I think everyone else has asked for this too is option to turn this on and off so like just a hotkey on your keyboard like let's imagine um, I don't know let's say Z or caps lock or something like that where you can toggle the third person on and off so like now we can look around we can fly like this but then as soon as we're in first person mode like now it turns it off or I can press caps lock and it turns it off and then I can actually look down at my data without my plane going all the way down here so that would be quite useful but um yeah that's it at the moment let's try and do a little bit of a landing here so full throttle up oh did I not take my brakes off earlier I don't think I took my brakes off earlier that's why we were having issues taking off so we can come in let me just get ourselves turned here and let's turn around again. Nice. Start reducing my throttle a little bit. Just a little bit here. Probably coming in a little bit too hot. And my throttle doesn't seem to want to be reducing that much for some reason. Oops. It is quite interesting flying like this, isn't it? What? my throttle's like stuck oh there we go now it's stuck to come down once i once i finish the runway see if i can do a quick turn here 
still recover this. I'm going to lower my throttle again. I'll just do a little bit of a loop here. With some, some nice low throttle. Again. Let's turn it around. Bring around. We still got some time left. Uh, I need to check how much time though. But we do still have some time left. Well, let's go down for a landing here. Nice. Turn low throttle a bit. Okay, that should be all right. Lower throttle. Might want to turn my gyro on. But actually, no, we're not. I'm not going to leave it off. It's got reducing my throttle. Level out. Nice. And there we go. Let's turn my brakes off that I had on earlier. And obviously, we can throttle up. We should be able to turn into here. My you're working. It is. I mean, we could add some steering at the back. I mean, we are turning, but very slowly. Very, very slowly. Let's add some steering at the back. How much time do we have left? We've got three minutes, so we still got a bit of time. So why not? I mean, let's delete this off. Let's delete this. Let's grab a pivot. That's stick that. I'm actually going to change the color. Stick that in there. Grab that. Stick that there. I mean, we could... Yeah, let's keep it like that for now. That should be all right. We could even stick it up one more if we really wanted it to. So that pivot, we could stick it up. Do we have space to stick it up one more? Not really. I mean, we could get rid of this. Stick it in over there. Yeah, let's do that. So let's uh, go in here because we've got a little bit of space. And let's do pivots. And we'll stick it directly in here if I can. Let's there we go, and then we're going to go from there into there. Let's paint this and make it look a little better for now, I don't really mind. Uh, we're going to go into the yaw of our turning. There we go. Brakes into our brakes. Tristy into electricity. Let's just go and check to see if that actually works. Should do. Well, one is turn it on. Okay, we might want to limit it. It's facing the wrong way also. We might want to limit it. So we can use a clamp to limit that. Grab a clamp. Find some way to put it. Uh, I've got a little bit of space here, so I'm just going to put it over here for now. And we're going to clamp it. Let's do negative 0.2, 3, and 0.3. Done, and we also just need to invert the pivot. So grab that pivot, which is there. Cut and invert and paste. Connect that to that, and then make sure to go inside and also connect it inside. As you can see, it's not connected inside. There we go. That's connected. That should work. We just need to make sure we go from our your into our clamp and then from our clamp into the pivot and that should work jump back in turn it on there we go so now we should have ground steering very nice lights are going fantastic and yeah i think that's pretty gonna be it let's uh just fix the gyro on off thing so that was we could add a knot block or we could just change the wording from gyro off to gyro on and spawn it in again. Cool, let's go and see how fuel efficient this is. So, one. Let's get engine RPS to what? Let's do 15. Let's do fuel 177, brakes off. Can we take off with this amount of speed? Let's see. I need to give it a little bit more RPS. Well, actually, let's go, because now we've got our steering. Although we're leaning a bit. Uh, <laughs> we are leaning a bit. So our wings are a little bit heavy, as you can see. Okay, let's do full throttle. And let's take off in a few seconds. I mean, we could even add a number to those control surfaces that we had 
Uh, we could add a control a number onto the control surfaces that we didn't really use. Feel 177. What's our speed? I can't I can't even tell. And that's the one negative, as I said earlier on, about using the mouse to control. I guess you could use a switch box. Yeah, you could actually just use a switch box, couldn't you? Let's go and try that. We've got... Yeah, we've got time up. So we've got time up, but you could add a switch box on to switch controlling it from using a mouse to not using a mouse. Actually, let's do that. Um... I know we're out of time, but I just want to see if this would make much of a difference. I think it would, and that's why I want to spend a little bit, little bit of time doing this. So we can find some space to do this. Uh, you can do it in the wings, to be honest. Let's just do... I'm here. We're going to do it there, so switch box. I'm just going to grab two of them, like that, and we're going to just delete that, and we're going to paint first, done, and done, and then we're going to use, let's use our hotkey number three, uh, switch, mouse, steering, mouse control, and that's going to be three, and it's going to be able to toggle on and off, so three, there, there, we're going to go, Let's see, so we've got the switch value, that's fine. So where is our pitch and stuff? So pitch is there. Okay, so it comes there. So let's do mouse is on by default. Sure. And that's gonna go into there. And what about your and your goes into here on by default. It's gonna go into there. Otherwise, we can get our your from our seat which is left and right oh that's off okay cool uh and then we also got our what's its pitch which pitch i guess is going to have to be up and down now i guess we could switch it with with that but we'll use up and down and we'll use that into off just make sure because we changed up and down earlier to 100 percent sensitivity we'll change that back to 10 percent sensitivity cool done and let's try let's see it now so we can either use our keyboard or we can use our mouse. So on, gyro on, throttle up. At the moment, it should be keyboard controlled. So let's check. Uh, this is brakes off, there we go. Yeah, it is, look. So, come on, lift, there we go. So yeah, I'm using my keyboard now to fully fly this. Let me get my throttle down a bit. So I'm using the keyboard now to fly this and I can obviously do what I want to do. But that's pretty, yeah, pretty straightforward. All controlled by keyboard. And then if we press three, I can now control it using my mouse. Okay, that's, that's, so that means that we don't really need a toggle switch then. I guess for turrets and things it might be useful, but that's, yeah, that's a simple switch box that solved that issue. And if I don't want it anymore, turn it off. And now I've got controls on my keyboard, which I can use. Fly the plane. So guys, I am going to end it over there. I hope you have enjoyed the one hour challenge. I've had a lot of fun. I've also learned a few things. Uh, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to build this yourself, follow along in the video. Uh, everything is there that you'll ever need. And if you want to see more of these one-hour challenges, let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, we will see you then.